Okay, so our next topic will be uh, the shear deformation. Uh, say, let's say uh, shear deformation is the delta so uh, s. So from our previous topic, if we say axial deformation, that is uh, more likely change in uh, length. Wherein we have uh, shear deformation, uh, basically this is uh, the change in uh, shape. Okay, so for example, we have a sample or a material that is uh, carrying a shearing stress. Our shearing stress last time is the uh, tau. So let's say we have shearing stress in both directions for equilibrium. So this will uh, result, for example, to uh, the change in uh, shape of the material. So let's say this uh, change in a uh, shape, if you are to consider its uh, thickness, so let's say this is uh, I diminish the thickness, I will be having an angle here, let's say the, the angle will be in terms of uh, gamma. So this uh, portion will be our delta sub uh, S, or that is the shear deformation. So how to determine the shear deformation? We may use a uh, uh, tangent, basically a right triangle. The tangent of gamma is now equal to, or uh, this is delta sub S divided by the uh, thickness. If we are just considered that triangle, or uh, this is the deformation due to shear, this is the thickness of the material, this is our angle, let's say, gamma. So the tangent of gamma is equal to delta sub s divided by the thickness, opposite over adjacent. So wherein we have tangent gamma, or wherein if we have a very small angle, if that value is very small, we can assume it as simply equal to a gamma, equal to uh, the delta sub s divided by uh, t. You can check it. Uh, for example, you have used a very value, a very small value of the angle that is the same as the, uh, the value of the angle in region. So we have also uh, the equivalent of this gamma is equal to uh, it is directly proportional to the shearing stress. So if we are to create an equation this is gamma, we are to introduce a proportionality constant that would be equal to the shearing stress wherein this proportionality constant is basically equal to okay, the value of G wherein okay, the G is, okay, this is the modulus of okay, the modulus of rigidity so how do we compute for the, okay, for the equivalent of the modulus of rigidity and the modulus of rigidity is basically equal to okay, the modulus of elasticity divided by twice the quantity 1 plus the Poisson's uh, ratio. So that's the equivalent of okay, the modulus of rigidity in terms of the modulus of elasticity. So we can have the equivalent of gamma multiplied by the modulus of rigidity is not equal to the shearing stress. So you have this gamma, or this is the same as the shear strain. Alright, so our gamma will be the shear strain. We have gamma is simply equal to the shearing stress divided by the modulus of rigidity or for this example, that, that is basically equal to the deformation due to shear divided by uh, the thickness of the sample. Uh, for this, uh, for this uh, case. So let's have one example. So let's have this example. For example, we have two uh, two rubber pads. Uh, they are attached into two three uh, metal uh, metal plates. So we have uh, the property of the rubber. We have a modulus of elasticity equal to two to five hundred pounds per square inch. So a constant ratio of zero point uh, forty eight. Then the dimension of the rubber is uh, nine inches long, five inches uh, wide. So we are to apply a force of 1,200 pounds uh, right here on the middle plate and we are required to determine the shear deformation of the rubber. So how do we uh, do that? So if we are to uh, check okay, equilibrium or mechanics, if this is 1,200 pounds, okay, by summation forces horizontal, okay, more likely the reaction of these two plates will be equal to 600 uh, pounds uh, each. We assume that this will be uh, equally uh, distributed. So if we are to consider just the upper portion,
Okay, so I have an application of the 1,100 pounds. So we assume that okay, this will be the, okay, the deform appearance of the uh, rubber. So we have the reaction of the plate okay, and the support is 600 pounds. Okay, we assume that the force okay, holding this uh, rubber, okay, this portion is also equal to 600 uh, pounds. That is by okay, equilibrium. So it's a process horizontal. So how do we compete for the shearing stress experienced by the rubber? Shearing stress is basically equal to the shear divided by the uh, area. So the magnitude of the shear is equal to okay, 600 uh, pounds. So we have the shearing stress equal to 600 pounds divided by the area. What is the cross sectional area of the rubber? That is 9 inches long then 5 inches wide. So this is inches uh, squared. So we are now competing for the shearing stress experienced by the uh, rubber. That is equal to 600 divided by 9 times uh, 5. So we have uh, minus 5. So we have 13.33 uh, uh, pounds per square inch. Okay? Pounds per square inch. So that is the shearing stress experienced by uh, the rubber. So if we are to compute for the shear deformation, I will assume that to be uh, this value. This is our delta sub uh, S. We have the thickness of the rubber. And the thickness of the rubber is equal to 1.75 uh, inch. So this will be our uh, the shear strain. What is the equivalent of the shear strain? So shear strain is basically equal to the shear stress uh, divided by the modulus of uh, rigidity. And this is also equal to the shear deformation divided by the thickness of the rubber or the thickness of the uh, material. So we don't have yet the value of the G or the modulus of rigidity. So we have the modulus of rigidity is equal to the modulus of elasticity divided by twice, divided by 1 plus the Poisson's ratio. And we have the modulus of rigidity, uh, the given is equal to 500 pounds per square inch. This is divided by twice of 1 plus 0.48. Uh, so let's have the modulus of rigidity of the rubber. This is 500 over twice. Over twice of 1.48. Uh, and we have the value equal to 168. I 919 pounds per square inch. That is the modulus of rigidity. So let's have this one, or this equation. And we have the shearing stress divided by the modulus of rigidity is equal to the delta sub S divided by the thickness. So we have delta sub S is equal to the thickness multiplied by the shearing stress divided by the modulus of uh, rigidity by cross multiplication. So we have now the shear deformation is equal to the thickness is equal to 1.75 inch or inches multiplied by the shearing stress is equal to 13.333 pounds per square inch divided by okay, the modulus of uh, rigidity is equal to 168.919 pounds per square uh, inch. So we are to answer the unit, uh, units PSI. So the remaining unit for the uh, shear deformation is in terms of by the inch. So it's equivalent of 1.75, or we went by 13.333, or we went by 168.919. And so we have a value of uh, 0 0.138 inch. So that would be our answer.